Hi guys, Keith Barkenberg Farms, and today I'm going to be showing you the Two Bad Cats Roller Dibbler for punching holes in plastic. Let me show you. So here's what the kit came with, pre-assembled wheels, had to put the dibblers in there, I got them all set on the inside right now, I only got enough to do a 6 inch spacing because that's all I really foresee planting out with it. And then we've got the bar itself, the direction for the spacings, I have to put that somewhere, it's actually laminated too which is nice. And then the three point bar that attaches onto it. So I'll get them out of the wrappers and uh, start putting it together. Now the construction of this thing's actually stupid simple. If I had the time, I'd build something out, but I just honestly do not have the time with strawberries coming and also the onions that are getting planted out here in the next month. But the wheels, it's a piece of sewer pipe right here, 12 inch sewer pipe, it's a piece of uh, super waterproof subfloor. Has been milled to fit. This right here is a uh, metal electrical conduit bracket that conduit slides through for like a firewall barrier or something like that. The axle is actually a piece of, what is that, half inch conduit? Three quarter inch conduit. It's got some bushings in the end to make it roll a little better. Then the uh, toolbar itself, one inch square stock. They've got plugs in the ends to actually take the axle on and off. They've got what looks like, almost like a rubber band, but I already know what that is. That's just an O-ring. So then this piece releases. You can slide the axle in. Got the same thing over on the other side. Then the three point, a little one by two stock. Super simple. Nothing to it. Paint it up, weld it up. Here's my three point mount. There's my top mount. A little bit of reinforcement there on the back. Completely simple. I'm going to get to putting it together. Now the assemblies, really straightforward. Just got bolt. Put a washer on top. Drop it through, down into the roller bar itself. Uh, same thing over on the other end. Wash your bolt. In the center, judging by the amount of washers they gave me, there's not enough room to get a washer on here. Which I'm guessing, yep, that looks about right. So there is no washer in that part. Mount, just gets washers on the bottom. And a nut, I'll tighten it all up. And these nuts are the uh, kind that don't come off. Got a little, little band on there, the aircraft nuts or whatever, what have you. I'm going to get this tightened up on there and then get to the axle part. Now that we have that put together, we go ahead, load our dibblers on the bar. Just doesn't really matter which way they face. I guess probably inwards would be best. That way I don't have to worry about them hitting the outside when I go to space them. There we go. Got my four rollers on here. Now to load it onto the bar. Again, we just got a pin. Loads in on the one side. And then I'll turn it around so you can see the other side real quick. And on the other side, it's got this removable pin here. 
load through, move our O-ring up. Now we can go through, space our dibble wheels. So we're running on 30 inch bed. The bar I got, got 34 inches in between. So that shouldn't be a problem. So if I'm doing, let's say, probably been a good idea to have marked the center of this before I started. So I had a reference to go off of here. It's gonna make it a lot easier for setting these rollers up. I also mark those out later too. So we're looking about 36 inches. So halfway between that's about 18. There's the center mark, and now we're going to come over, let's see, we want to do 6 and 6, do 12, 4 rows, we could do 8 and have a little bit more, but we're pushing the edge of the bed, especially with plastic mulch, so if we go over 3 and 6, that pushes us over 9, that makes, from end to end, two foot. So we've got four rollers. I'm doing that right? One roller, two roller, three roller, four roller. Yeah. If we go out to eight inches, well, we'll just do six for now. So we got a roller there, and there, and we'll put a six on the bar. And a C to indicate my center. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll go out three and six. And then we just tighten down the hose clamps to secure this baby onto the bar. And after that, it looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Now, one thing I do want to pay attention to is I want to make these offset by each other because. I got dibbler and dibbler. So if I'm running at six inches, all of them are gonna be out. So we'll offset them by the space in between two sets of dibblers. So it's lined up in the center here. Now, if we're going to go with 12 inch, we wanna offset by a whole six inches, which means they'd all be aligned up together. But we'll get to that later when we're actually out in the field. We either way, we wanna stagger our holes. Have one here, one here one here, one here, all the way throughout the field. So there we go. Pretty simple. I do have to put the uh, three-point pins on here. I actually ordered the Category Zero model because it was cheaper, so it's got zero pins, which are just smaller. So I can either get a sleeve for these for my tractor or try to find some Category One pins at the uh, tractor store. Either way, I'll see which one's the cheaper way to do it. Because I already got the pins, I can just sleeve it. And it'll work just fine. And it doesn't particularly matter because this thing is not gonna take a huge amount of use. It is rolling over the top of already prepped soil and making indentations. I mean, the whole rig, pretty light. I don't know, 50 pounds maybe with all the wheels on there. The wheels are like quite a bit themselves. So the whole idea with this is that the spacing you choose, which I only got enough dibblers for a six inch spacing, 
you bring those dibblers, isn't there a loose one, to the outside. So they're actually sticking outwards. Then they poke through your plastic, like in your plastic culture system, like I have over here. I did all those by hand, which is a pain in the butt. But now, with this, going down big long rows, I can throw this on the back of my little tractor, turn the dibblers out I want, and just proceed to drive forward, and it'll punch the plastic as I go. I will show you that. It won't be today, I just got it. But when I get it out and use it, it'll be the next thing you see. So, since I lost the keys to my tractor, and I've got to hot wire it now, I can't just exactly turn it on and off. So I really can't show you this out in the field, but I want to kind of explain. I got the uh, roller dibbler on the back of the tractor here. I've got it set up for strawberries right now. So we got 12 inches between row, and then I've got the pins on these dibblers set up at 12 inches in row, which is every other three inch marking all the way around. Let's see if I can see that. Yeah, you really can't see it. So I got enough pins to do either six inch spacing or 12 inch spacing, keep the six inches on the inside. So every other one is out on 12. And I also, as you can see, when you look across, I've got them staggered as well, which will leave a little bit more room in between each plant, allow it to grow up bigger and better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this hot wired up and go out in the field and go ahead and punch plastic. I'll show you the results of that and then uh, yeah, that'll be it for this week. There we go. Leave the tractor up there running because again, I don't have the keys for it and I don't want to have to try to hot wire it again, but we got nice, consistent holes through our plastic. Nice, evenly spaced out. We were supposed to be on 12 inches. We are right about dead on 12 inches. Same thing here. In between the rows, 12 inches. Look at our diagonal. About 13 inches. All in all, not bad. I mean, it does rip some here and there a little bigger. But I think that's just due to the uh, structure underneath it, the, the way the dirt is underneath it. But all in all, doesn't look bad. So, all in all, when you're switching over to plastic culture like we're starting to do on some things on the farm, the Too Bad Cat Roller is ideally, hands down, the best thing for a little small tractor like that that can't pull a water wheel transplanter behind it. Gets the holes poked in there nice and evenly, very, very quick, no time at all. Get all those laid out, spaced out, and especially if I'm doing something four rows like onions, which going down the field block here. 450 foot down, four rows every six inches, all the way down. That's 1,200. Yeah, 1,200 holes per row times four. It's like 24, 48, almost 5,000 holes I'd have to punch for each bed of onions. And I can do that with that little roller and one pass by. I mean, that just that right there will pay for it in itself just in labor doing one row and in no way my uh sponsored by two bad cats wish it was wish it would have got a thing for free but it's a little pricey those little wheels on the back are very very expensive but for what they do it's definitely well worth it so hope you all like what you saw today if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all have a good day